Locking Down the Code, a programmer's ultimate guide to database security. Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something super important to talk about, database security. You know, the kind of stuff that keeps our digital world spinning safely. So, grab your coffee, and let's dive into the best practices every programmer should be following to keep those databases safe and sound. First things first, why is database security such a big deal? Imagine your database is a treasure chest full of precious data. If it's not locked up tight, it's like an open invitation for trouble. And nobody wants that, right? Let's get into how we can prevent this nightmare scenario. Alright, time to roll up our sleeves and check out the toolkit every programmer needs for top-notch database security. Number 1 on the list, keep your software updated. It sounds simple, but it's super effective. Outdated software is like leaving your front door unlocked, so let's not do that. Next up, strong authentication and authorization measures. Only those who really need access should get it. And remember, folks, strong passwords are a must. No, password 123, please. Also, make sure you're regularly backing up your data. Accidents happen, and it's always better to be prepared. Now, let's talk about encryption. Scrambling data is a fantastic way to make it useless to anyone who shouldn't have it. Pro tip. Encrypt your data both at rest and in transit. And don't forget about regular security audits. Think of them as a health checkup for your database. Keeping up with the latest security protocols is crucial. There's AES for encryption, RBAC for tailored access, MFA to double lock your data, and protocols to prevent those sneaky SQL injections. It's all about staying one step ahead. Let's tackle some FAQs. How often should you update your database security measures? Regular updates are key, aim for every few months. Is password protection enough? Definitely not. You need a combo of strong passwords, encryption, and more. Can you automate security practices? Absolutely. Automation can be a lifesaver. And there you have it, folks. That's our quick tour through the essentials of database security. Remember, it's not just a one-time thing, it's an ongoing commitment. As programmers, we're the guardians of data. It's up to us to keep our digital treasures safe and sound. Before we wrap up, let me just say, stay vigilant, keep learning, and turn your databases into fortresses of security. It's a big responsibility, but hey, we're all in this together. So, what are your thoughts on database security? Got any tips or tricks you'd like to share? Drop them in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, keep coding securely. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy programming. Thanks for watching.